Hey everybody, it's Jepsei. Today we're going to be looking at the Zoo 65 by Momoka Studios. And this was a group buy slash pre-order uh, around the time of February and March 2022. And it was fulfilled around July. That's when I received my unit. I purchased the navy blue unit. Um, and because I wanted a kind of like a navy uh, board to put kind of like a... A lighter keycap set which you'll see later on in the vid but right out of the box it's just standard with your board and then a components box here we have all the foams which i will use um i know a lot of people have kind of their own feelings about what foam sounds like or you know what boards with foam sounds like but today we use the case pcb and pe foam Here we have the components box, which everything is labeled and packaged neatly. Here we have the PCB with the multiple flex cuts and every other accessory that comes in the box. You do actually get a choice of FR4 and PC. I personally thought that the FR4 would sound really good with all the foam. However, I may or may not make a another configuration of this board with the PC plate. One thing that I didn't really like though was they only gave you enough gaskets for one plate which uh, I was pretty confused about on how to install those early on when building during the building process. One thing that I really liked that Momoka did was really incorporated that like animal-esque style. There's six fish uh, towards the back part of the case with a big dodo bird engraving on the back. As you can tell, there's also one dodo bird on the PCB and one on the FR4 plate. That's another big reason why I chose the FR4 plate <laughs> to begin with, but everything just seemed to go really well together. One thing that I advise for anyone building any board is to secure the boards uh, to prevent it from getting any scratches or scuffs is to always put the rubber feet before working on the board. I personally haven't had any issues yet, and I'm trying not to. So I advise anyone, whenever you're building a board, if it doesn't already have feet installed, please install those first before moving it around, shuffling it around your desk. So after the eight screws are taken out, you can actually just remove the top part of the case. And then in lies the bottom case with the many rivets where you would put the gaskets. The first thing that I tend to do is kind of put the JST cable in and the daughter board and then work on the PCB separately. Some people have their own style, but I kind of like working it from the case upwards, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I was really lost on what to do with these gaskets. Uh, there are many sizes, but I went ahead and just asked or consulted near Lucid. Zoo. Well, thank you, Nero Lucid, for helping me on that. Uh, so from at least the video that he put out, there wasn't a lot of other videos that could help me, and I didn't even know that there was a build guide in the box. So that's on me. So make sure that you guys you check your entirety of the boxes when it comes to building keyboards. Anyways, we're using these KTT Halo Halo switches, which are extremely clacky and marbly. Hate those buzz words sometimes, but that's the best way to describe the sound signature for these switches. So there are four standoffs that you can mount the plate onto the PCB, and I believe they're optional, but I went ahead and just used them anyway. So according to the video that I was watching earlier, you use those gaskets and you put them on the plate itself. I personally hate adhesive gaskets or anything adhesive that go on the plate themselves, just because it limits you to any changes in the future. I really like it when boards or companies put the gaskets onto the case. Um, I believe that's what you can do here. But again, I wouldn't know where to put the top gaskets because the top part of the case doesn't have any divots or sections cut off to where that you can fit gaskets onto the case itself. So if I wanted to change it to a PC plate, unfortunately, I'd have to spend about 18 to $20 to get a new set of gaskets, at least made from Momoka. 
So the assembly is pretty easy after you attach the JST connector and you fit and house the PCB in. Then you can go ahead and just take the eight screws that and screw them back in with the Allen wrench that actually comes with the kit itself. So again, the, the assembly and the ease of this is fairly, fairly simple. This is my first Navy board and a metal aluminum one at that where you're throwing on PBT Notion and this is exactly how I wanted it to turn out. So thank you guys so much for watching uh, up until this far. Uh, I have a couple more videos coming out and I'm really excited to share with you all the new things that are coming up and changing in my life. So here goes the sound test. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that sound. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed, like, and yeah, comment down below what you thought of the board. I'll take care of you guys. See you in the next one. Later.